to the first episode in my new series, Let's Read. So in this episode, we are going to practice reading. I'm going to pick an article and read it out loud. That way you can hear how some of these new words are pronounced as well as their definition and how they're used in context. So in case you don't know, I recently did a podcast episode on why American millennials are reluctant or hesitant to make and take phone calls. So in today's episode, we're going to be reading a short article. It's a short article by John Brandon in Inc. Magazine, and the title of it is why millennials don't like to make phone calls. At this point, the article is a little bit dated. It's from 2017. However, I think it still pretty much applies. I don't think millennials' opinions towards phone calls have changed that much in the past few years. So let's jump into it and read it, and I'd be curious to know what you think. Why millennials don't like to make phone calls. To this age group, There's a reason making a call is a bit like traveling by train. This isn't one of those millennial bashing articles, a diatribe against an entire generation. The truth is the age group usually defined as anyone between 18 to 34 in the year 2015 is hard to pin down. Yet the one characteristic they all seem to share is a pure hatred of making phone calls to anyone at any time, for any reason. Which is a bit ironic because millennials are constantly using their phone. The problem started around 2010. That's the year WhatsApp emerged as one of the most common messaging apps. The very next year, in 2011, was when Facebook launched the Messenger app and Snapchat debuted. Suddenly, there was a way to communicate with people without having to talk. Why do they avoid making calls? Of the 10 millennials I know personally, they all told me a few important reasons, many of which could help a business trying to reach millennials understand their motivations. The biggest reason has to do with time. We might not like to admit this, but as we get older, we stop forming as many new brain cells. The myth is that we lose a lot of brain cells each day. Millennials think faster than anyone older than 34. Millennials process information faster than most of us. They don't have time for outdated technology. In my informal survey, millennials said they want to communicate faster and get better answers. To me, it's the difference between asking a question on Twitter or trying to find an expert on a topic. Maybe the quality of the answer is different, but you can post on Twitter in about five seconds. Believe me, I've tested this. When I asked a question about parking in Las Vegas recently, about three people answered within seconds. Making a call is not that efficient and will keep getting less and less efficient in the next few years. Chatbots became a major trend last year, allowing you to order a pizza by talking to a bot instead of a person. AI is improving so much that in a few seconds, one smart home company plans to adjust the lights, the heating, and the locks for you automatically. You don't need to use an app. In the future, robotic butlers will talk to us about recipes and travel plans. This might sound all too futuristic, but millennials already know the benefits of digital communication better than some of us. They want results, not a lengthy discussion. Many of the millennials I know will set the phone down in person when there is an interesting conversation taking place and then group up in circles to text if they're bored. But making a call is a bit like sending a telegram or jumping on the train to take a vacation. For most millennials, the goal is to place an order for a pizza or book a trip on Expedia or resolve a cell phone dispute. All of those things take time. And if you use the phone, they take even more time. Another reason has to do with conflict avoidance. In a phone call, there's a chance that the person on the other end of the line might have an opinion. With messaging and other forms of digital communication, you say what you need to say and move on. It's harder to have a conflict, at least one that causes stress, by text. Of course, the phone is not dying. There are entire industries that employ younger people to make phone calls and answer customer service issues. You can't really sell a product by text. 
and complex issues like an unusual pizza order require conversation. Still, the fear of the phone is real. It's a technology that millennials like to avoid as much as possible. To them, it's like living in the dark ages. So what do you guys think? Personally, I really hate making phone calls. Not surprising, I'm also a millennial, but I don't know that texting is necessarily always the most efficient method. For example, if you send somebody a text, they could be busy, so it might take them a while to respond to you. Whereas if you call someone, if they answer the phone, you get an immediate response to your question or whatever it is that you need. But I'm curious to know what you think. Do you think that calls are outdated and that it's more efficient to text someone than to call someone? What about what this article mentions about conflict or the person on the other end having an opinion? Which I can see, you know, it's it makes us vulnerable. It makes us open to being criticized or attacked, which mostly people try to avoid. I know I do sometimes, unless I'm having an argument on the phone. And usually that's usually always through text messaging. I argue via text messages because to me, it it's easier to think about what you wanna say and maybe not say something you're going to regret. So for me, I personally, if I'm going to have a serious discussion with someone, I usually prefer doing it via text and not through a phone call because phone calls are usually more heated. Anyway, if you're interested in this, I'm going to put the link to the article in the description box, as well as the link to my podcast where I just did an episode on this. As always, thank you so much for being here, for listening and for supporting the show. I will see you guys so soon. Bye everybody.